labour market is very tough, as everyone knows, but I, I think there are opportunities out there uh, within most industries. If you're willing to put in the work and uh, do the research for the job, I think I think you can get ahead out there. At the start, it's scary because all the talk of recession, 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 and you feel like you're going to go out there and it's not going to be anything. But then you actually go out there, and the more you try, the more you're going to find. Is my perception of it anyway. The traditional path of kind of you know sending off all your applications and doing all your interviews, maybe that's not going to get new graduates. You know, you might not get to the interview stage of this because uh, things are so competitive. But um, if you can try and stand out from the crowd, maybe with your placements or work experience or whatever it is you have, mm. um, I think there are other routes and there are certainly jobs out there. It's hard to get a job like that. Everyone needs to have like the highest they can get in their degree mm -hmm. because jobs are very scarce and everything at the moment. Mm -hmm. The recession and everything now like that. I just know that from my friends at college, like when they're finished now, that they don't have a job to go to or anything. So they're just... Mm -hmm doing like part-time and stuff like in bars and restaurants and stuff like that because they can't get a job in the degree that they have. Right. From my own experience, like if I was with specialising in computers and technology and stuff like that and I realised once I went out, kind of looking through jobs, looking through the internet postings and all that, that, you know, you, the, the stuff is there, the computer, the, the jobs and technology are there. And there's, there's loads of them, like I couldn't believe when I went online and found there's so many, like you know, you could be looking at a hundred different postings for, for technology jobs. Okay. Now, minute, I suppose it's an up and coming sector, but it definitely the opportunities are there. Personally, I think there isn't a lot around. I think that most, well, most of my friends that are graduating, they're all heading off. Heading off out to London and Australia and doing their year out now instead of later, mm -hmm. because there doesn't seem to be a lot around. On the lead up to finishing, they'd looked around, you know, done the fairs and stuff like that. But I think you really need to have experience before you finish, and I think that's a big part of it. Like, mm. if you don't have it, they don't want you, mm. and it's hard to get it. Well, I think these days in particular, people are looking for somebody who's sort of above and beyond um, the the rest of the crowd. I mean, you really have to stand out because you've you know you have doctors and lawyers applying for taxi licenses, and you know it's just the way things have gone. So really to kind of um, show that you have those people skills and that you're a well-rounded person mm -hmm. and that you're going to put in, you know, you're willing to do the hard work. Someone who's, you know, hard working, who will come in and impress them in an interview, you only have a few minutes to impress them and first impression is everything and mm -hmm. a good CV, make your CV jump out because that's all you have to start off with. They're looking just for an all-round personality, not just, uh, you know, your academic results. I think nowadays they look for you know, your extracurricular activities, um, maybe what you did outside of college, uh, academic-wise, mm. um, work experience. You know, what, what you know, it's, a, it's an employer's market out there, so they're not just looking for people with the top marks. You got to show that you know you have good work experience and it's it's relevant. I think if you have a good personality, it strikes them straight away. Uh, it's not all about academic results. It's it's a mixture of a good character, and of course, the results matter uh, too. But if you if you have a good mix of of education and interpersonal skills and you can get on with your workforce and integrate with the workforce, then you become employable then. I don't think I was conscious, I think it just kind of happened. Things little bits along the way, they kind of, like, when we did that course in, we did a course in first year, that kind of just brought us all together, it was PED, and uh, just developed employable skills and stuff like that, and presentations and mm. stuff like that, giving us more confidence. Well, not in the first two years anyway, I was just enjoying the college experience, uh, but I suppose coming to the end of my degree I was beginning to think that, uh, you know, what am I going to do after college, so I was beginning to focus on uh, how I could improve my overall uh, employability, I suppose. I suppose I improved some things like, you know, learning how to do presentations and stuff like that, mm. uh, going on interviews and doing an internship for my for my course, university, all that just giving me a feel for what it's actually going to be like when I finish college in the field of marine science. Oh, right. I, I started you know, focusing more on work experience and, and how I could uh, how get work experience that would be relevant to careers I might be interested in. Mm. Uh, you know, I took part in more uh, clubs and societies within college. Um, I was a marine SOC. I was um, a vice auditor there for a while and I was class rep and stuff like that. And I suppose now it, it's going to help. I don't think at the time I was thinking, oh yeah, my CV, my CV, but now it looks good. Okay. I'm um, trying to get involved with societies and clubs and, you know, those kind of extracurricular things. Um, all of that kind of adds into your CV, um, doing workshops here and there and, you know, just things like that. And I suppose um, 
any opportunity that you get to do a bit of work or to do some volunteering or something like that, you never know what contacts might come out of it. So it's all it's all useful. It's not all about you know getting these marks and getting that you need to build up a good rapport of your general self, like you know how you how you are seen to an employer, how you see yourself to the employer, and just different you know communication skills and research skills and different things like that. That it's all all comes together then for the one right job. Enjoy the college experience while you're there and build up a kind of a network in amongst different people and friends and the whole lot. But get the strong academic results as well too. I try and match the two of them then together to make to, to for the workforce then. Go to more workshops on how to do your C V and learn how to do a proper interview. And when you have presentations, work really hard at them because presentations are gonna be a big part when you go out into the workforce. The one thing is to not be too pessimistic coming into college. Um, because you know, if you're coming in now, you're coming in for three or four years probably, and who knows, you know, things are probably likely to be kind of up on, on the upswing by then. So, I'd say the college years are definitely the best years of your life, and you'll meet so many different people and get exposed to many different experiences. Uh, but keep an eye on your on your results. Uh, try get as much work experience every summer, even if you're going to America for summer. You know, always show that you, you know you did something and you, you were eager to learn. And because no matter what job you have, you, you learn skills. And ultimately, just you know, I suppose you build up your, your personality and your, your uh, interpersonal skills because that is, I think, ultimately what the employers want. That they can work with you as opposed to you know, you're brilliant academically, but you don't, you're not able to hold a conversation. Mm -hmm. So I think um, just build up your, your communication skills.